In this video, a Python script is used to control Arduino via the serial port. Serial communication between Arduino and Python is achieved using the Fermata protocol. In some embedded applications where we have a microcontroller interfaced with I.O. devices, instead of writing the sketch on the microcontroller, we would like to write the code on a host computer which is interfaced with the controller using serial communications. The easiest language to use to write the code on the host computer is Python, which has a rich collection of libraries and it has a library that supports the communication between the host computer and the microcontroller using serial port. Python programming for Arduino begins by loading the Arduino microcontroller with the Fermeta protocol, which enables a host computer to serially communicate with the Arduino. Next on the host computer, a Python script is written that uses the PyFermeta module, which enables the host computer to serially communicate with the Arduino. The script is written in such a way so that it controls the Arduino and in turn controlling the peripherals connected to the Arduino. To load the Fermeta protocol on the Arduino, we go to the Arduino IDE, Files, Examples. Next we go to Fermeta and then we choose Standard Fermeta. The standard for Metasketch enables analog or digital I.O. devices to be controlled via software on host computer. The connected devices can also be I2C devices. The sketch also supports servo motor interfacing. The latest version of Python Interpreter can be downloaded from the official website. The PyFermeta module, which is a Python interface for the Fermeta protocol, can be downloaded from the official website and added to the Python library by using the pip install command. After we install the Python interpreter on the computer, we use Microsoft Visual Studio Code and add the Python extension in order to write the scripts for Python and then run the programs. A block diagram of the implemented system is shown here. We have the Arduino Nano, which is loaded with the Fermata protocol, has interfaced with digital pins a push button connected to pin D2 and an LED connected to pin D3. The Arduino Nano is interfaced with a host computer via serial port COM3. We run the Python script on the computer and the program will be pending for a button press of the alarm button on the microcontroller side. So when the user presses this button here, the script will respond by sounding the alarm 10 times and at the same time flashing the alarm indicator 10 times. And then the script will go back and wait for a button press of the alarm. A quick look at the Python script. First we will import the PyFermeter module and then we will import the time module since we'll be adding some time delay within the script and then we will import the Windows sound module which will have the beep method that will be used to give the beep sound of the alarm. Next through this statement we indicate that the Arduino is interfaced to the PC through serial port COM3. Next, this statement here will initialize digital pin 2 of the Arduino as input pin. The program begins by outputting to the Windows console the message alarm off. And then we have an indefinite while loop. And inside the loop, the status of the push button which is connected to digital pin 2 is checked. If the button is pressed, then a true value will be stored in variable alarm. And this if statement becomes true, 
and then we print at the output the message alarm on and then using this for loop that will loop 10 times we will sound the beep and then we will turn on the LED which is connected to digital pin 3 and then apply some delay and then turn off the LED and then apply delay this process is repeated 10 times and then a message alarm off will be displayed at the console and the while loop will go back and check the status of the push button now we run the script and observe the output on Windows terminal In a future video, a graphical user interface, GUI, will be implemented using Python to control Arduino. Thank you for watching.